Luckily, we have states every year through AAU states, run by Sensei Jack Kramer and Sensei Van Tassel. I went to states this year. As long as you place in the top 16, you move on to nationals. At nationals this year, I placed third in weapons kata and third in open hand kata, and third also in kamise, which is fighting. Based upon your performance at nationals, basically as long as you medal first through third in any division, scouts at the tournament will look at you, and if they feel that you're a valid competitor, you will be asked to join the AAU USA national team. I was ecstatic. I was beyond honored to be asked to be on the USA team. It's always a dream of mine to represent the United States in any facet. Um, I was very lucky to be able to afford to go to this trip. It's not a very easy trip to be able to afford, so I was very graceful, uh, very grateful to be on the team. I was there with the best competitors from the United States and from all around the world. It was just an honor to be there, and luckily I learned a lot while I was there. I'm a student of Ishinru Karate. My style was founded on Okinawa, an island off of Japan. There are multiple other styles around the world. Shotokan, Shorin-ru, Gojin-ru, Nahate, all other styles, and they compete at this tournament that I was at in Germany. I competed in kata, which is empty hand form. Um, to many, it would resemble how a dance routine works. That's a prearranged set of movements, obviously meant to demonstrate that you have balance, you have good form, good technique, and great strength, and obviously great speed. And then I also com um, competed in kamite, which is sparring, point fighting, very similar to any other styles of fighting that you'll see. It's based on a point system, three points win. There's half points for body techniques and very good techniques. And then full points for a perfect technique, a technique to the head, a perfect counter with a block and a punch. And there's also team fighting. You have to be 18 and older to compete on team fighting, which consists of three members from each national team. And each member goes against a member from the other team, one-on-one. -on -one. And at the end of the rounds, the team with the most points or the most wins wins that match and moves on to the next round. From here, I continue my training. We have states again this March, and then nationals once again this year. They'll be down in Fort Lauderdale in July. I hope to perform to the best of my ability at nationals, make the team again, and go to the WKC Open World Championships next year. It's a wonderful achievement that, uh, that he's accomplished. Um, when I was younger, back in 1980, I had wanted to be a part of this team. Uh, it takes a tremendous amount of work. Um, as Frank's seen, that when we take our competition from a state level then to a national level, then outside the national level to international level, it really steps up the game. And there's uh, Europeans and people from different parts of the world that spend uh, hours upon hours uh, competing. And um, I think it raised the bar for him, as well as him in school. What he does is uh, all of his accomplishments. It's hard to have um, a person that achieves everything that our kids do here in our country as far as academically and socially and all the commitments and all the responsibilities and all the time and still to be able to take that uh, skill that they have and bring that outside the country. Uh, we're real proud of him for what he's done.